<sighs> Finally, I've been waiting forever to play more Baldur's Gate 3. Let's get into it. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Jeez. Hey, 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 don't you go anywhere. Wait, wait, wait. Jeez, this guy disappears. Well, here we go. What's up, guys? It's on Ninja Warring Aviators and Subaru Hot, and welcome to another episode of The Modern Ninja, and specifically the next episode of our series, Loadout, where I take a new package. This time we have a rather large box and break down all the weapons that are inside. Well, not break down, but oh, unbox it all and then see exactly how good they would be in the zombie apocalypse. So let's get started. Okay, so I've already taken care of the tape of, you know, actually opening the boxes. Who wants to see you open tape? But let's see what's inside. And starting off, we have one that's not even boxed up. Now, this one I knew was coming. This one's a little bit special. This is a single finger brass knuckle, an individual brass knuckle, if you will. And this is honestly pretty cool. Like, I like it, but it's not actually sold by Karate Martin. So if you think they should sell it, let me know down in the comments. But uh they they said this is too dangerous for them to sell now whether that's dangerous to the user or dangerous to the opponent that is yet to be seen but either way it's not currently sold in karate mart but it is pretty cool it, it's similar to the last episode's brass knuckles you're not gonna find a ton of use for this in a zombie apocalypse i mean yes it'll be great for individual like humans that you run into if you have to protect yourself from a human but it's really not going to be great against the zombies and that's what this show is about seeing if it's really good against the zombies you don't want to get that close one knuckle is gonna hurt a person but if they don't feel pain this is not going to decapitate them this is not going to disable the brain at all this is just going to get you too close for comfort with a zombie and you don't want that so i'm going to rate this individual brass knuckle um a, a one not even not even one a 0.5 because it doesn't even have the full brass knuckle covering uh like the brass knuckles did in the last episode so now we go with smallest to biggest right here we have ooh twin <laughs> claws this is cool i feel like bronze tiger almost from dc um wearing these like this is not it's definitely not a slashing type of claw but stabbing for sure these these suckers are are pointy man they're not sharp like a blade they're definitely pointy and definitely gonna go into any person pretty easily uh as far as dealing with zombies um well first of all if i'm dealing with a person this is even better than brass knuckles honestly just because well i don't know if it's better it's definitely different than brass knuckles i get to dig into the brain or really dig into the stomach or wherever you're punching so that you can actually do some long-term damage not just impact damage um or piercing damage not just impact damage but as far as zombies go if you're lucky you might be able to hit the brain stem like hit some some important brainal functions uh because those are the zombies we're going for obviously if you're fighting like world war z speed zombies these are definitely not going to work but if you're finding like walking dead slow zombies these are going to be okay better than nothing for sure but still not great because again it gets us way too close to the zombies uh again it's super cool like i love these these are awesome and i'm going to do a full video on karate mart um on the karate mart youtube just like i did last time uh should i get the scheduling right it'll go on It'll go up at the same exact time, so be ready for that. But if you're dealing with actual zombies, not just the humans during the zombie apocalypse, the actual zombies is still, I get too close and I don't want to use these for zombies for obvious reasons. We have, ooh, our karambit. This, this is a nice one. This is real nice. Um, the grip, especially. I really like the grip of this karambit. It has like a cool visual texture, but like the physical texture matches the visual texture like it feels like it sh like it looks and so it's kind of cool um definitely pr uh i suspect it's really good at getting sweat away from your hand and allowing a good grip on your karambit this is a fairly decently sized one uh my guess is that this blade is five inches 
um, maybe, yeah, probably, yeah, probably, probably five inches. Um, and again, I'll give the exact details and stuff on the Karate Mart video and history about Karate Bits in the Karate Mart video. If you're interested, this is just the zombie apocalypse stuff. And if you're fighting zombies, this is definitely not bad. It's definitely more of a last resort type of weapon. Like they're already super close and you're putting this in their brains or across their neck, uh, getting that brain stem or whatever it is. Uh, so it's definitely last resort, but it can take down zombies for sure if you use it correctly, if you know how to use it correctly. Um, because that blade to the to the base of the neck should be able to dis like to um, disconnect the brain from the brainstem, in which case the zombie would be dead. And so, in those logic, I would put this at a solid I don't know um, four four and a half uh, out of ten as far as effectiveness against the zombies. Again, solid as far as a backup, and because it's so small, you can just keep it in your pocket as a last resort. Be like bang, but for a standard like main weapon against the zombies i wouldn't necessarily go with this this is definitely a last resort type of thing but if you have it definitely keep it because crambits are cool man like it doesn't even matter what type of apocalypse you're in crambits are always cool we have the big boy this is a little heavier uh heavier than i thought tactical warhammer m48 tactical warhammer interesting oh oh okay Okay, so it's got some good weight to it. Uh, it looks like it's got a, a, a belt loop and a, and a cover. Yeah, this, got, this has to be a cover or a casing or something. Oh yeah, comes off probably like this. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. So for crushing this side, obviously. Let's see if I can take this off. So for crushing on one side and for piercing on the other, it's not as sharp as the brass knuckles, but it's, or pointy, I guess, as the brass knuckles. And it's, there's definitely no blades on it, but it's still, this is still gonna, is with the weight of this thing, gonna go into anything you need it to. And honestly, the, um, like, as a human being with feeling, with, like, sensory feelings, uh, this side looks equally as painful getting hit with this side. So, oh, uh, I like this one. This is, this is definitely my favorite of the batch, and you should let me know what is your favorite of all these weapons. Um down below in the comments and I might even have a poll uh, for you guys to vote on if you would like so definitely check that out but I like it and it comes with a nice um, pretty hard case I don't know what it's made of plastic or rubber um, again I'll do all those details in the main video on Karate Mart um, but you should definitely go and check it out because this thing is dope and I will absolutely enjoy smashing some fruit with this bad boy. Like this is gonna be, this is gonna be a bit. So if you wanna see that, definitely go check out Karate Mart's video um, or the video I did on Karate Mart. Get it, it's hard, to, it's hard to talk sometimes. I'm excited, this is just, this is just cool. I like it. As far as the zombie apocalypse goes, I put this at a, mm, doesn't have all the range that I would like and crushing and piercing isn't the best against zombies. So even though I love this and I would definitely keep this on me, just who, who doesn't want to smash some heads? Um, I put it at a, a five and a half or a six, simply because it doesn't have exactly the range I want. And I want to know that I can disable a zombie in one, maybe two hits. And I'm just not confident with this weapon that it'll do that. However, if, <laughs> if given the chance to carry this weapon, I'll absolutely take it. So again, if you want to see the details and all the info and how to get this weapon and of course a little bit of history about them as well and you know fruit ninja then definitely uh go check out the Karate Mart channel. I really appreciate them sending me these so that I can um host their show on Weapons Wednesdays and give you guys a little sneak peek on my channel as well. Hope you guys enjoy it and if you do make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one because my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out be the modern ninja but Lift off. just know i'm dangerous I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pen Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing change while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to